Hey everyone, this is Corey's 103. Today I'm going to show you how like, you can clone Pokemon with just an R4DS and any other game. Um, okay, first, you'll need to load up both games. I'm going to clone the Shed Engine here. Shed Engines are really awesome. You can even clone items with this. And all you need is the save of an R4 game. Now, with the Pokemon that you catch on the R4 game, it doesn't matter what it is. I guess I'll just trade this level 4 hoot hoot over. And I'm going to go into the Union room now. You need two DS's to do this. Or basically two people. Two DS's, whatever you've got. I have two DS's, so I'm going to do this. So now after you both have them in the union room, with one of them you're going to talk to the other trainer. Oops, they moved. Oh, man, I hate how they move in this game. Alright. Alright, so now that you both have the trade screen started, you're going to... Here I'm going to clone the Shed Ninja, and I'm going to use this Hoot Hoot to make that happen. Right, so... Trade. Well, it seems kind of stupid to actually trade these, but... It's better than nothing when you're really trying to... Okay, so now they're going to trade. Alright, so after they finish, this one's going to communicating, whatever. You can always wait for that stuff to happen. Um okay. So now you're going to quit the trade. As you can see on this video, this Pokemon game. On my R4 save, this is my R4 save, I have the shit in it here. So now I'm going to click the trade, and I'm going to turn off both DS's. Now you're going to want to take the R4 one. R4. You want to get onto your computer. Take your R4 DS reader. And... put your SD card into the reader. After putting this in the USB, And as you can see here, I've got a Pokemon Platinum, not Platinum, that's, that's not what I want. I want Soul Silver save file. I'm going to copy this and paste this to the desktop. You don't have to paste it to the desktop, but that's just what I'm doing. Okay, so after you've done that, you're going to take this back out. And you got your R4 again. Now you're going to want to start both games back up.
Well, now you want to go to go back into the union union room. See here, now I have the shit engine on my R4. So now these two are both saving, and after I go back into the union room, I'm going to trade them back. take much longer guys. Sorry, this is such a long video. So now you're going to trade them back. Now you're going to want to trade the Shedinger or whatever Pokemon you're cloning back with the other Pokemon. And now you're going to trade them back. Wait for the trade to finish, please. You guys don't have to use both to a soul silver and a soul silver like I have here. Now you're going to turn off both the DS's again. Again, take your R4. Put it back into the reader. And as you know, I transferred the Shedinja back to the for DS ROMs and DS games. Now you're going to take that save that you copied and put it back in here. Now as you know, when I made the, the trade back, um, made the trade back, you guys know that the Shedinja was traded back to the actual Soul Silver game. Now when I load back up the R4, there's going to be another Shedinja. Alright guys, so now that I have the Pokemon cloned, and here, you know, I put the save back on the R4, which was the one that already had the Shed Engine on it. I'm going to start up both the games. Sorry, when I look at the DS Lite, it takes a while for it to focus on it because it's a much lighter screen. Sorry about that. Alright guys, so now that I have the shed hinges in there, see look, come out. See? The shed ninja and a shed ninja! Two Pokemon. As you can see, I have just cloned these two shed ninjas. So, and now you can trade them to whoever you want or just use them for whenever they fan or anything like that. It's also good for training uses. Cooler is 103 and I'm signing off right now. Bye.